the tough thing about moving on from your first job or somewhere that you've interned and worked full time as your first job is that your friends that you build relationships with are people who started this adulting with you so you were able to be there for each other so your relationships are like really important not that relationships at other jobs aren't as important but moving on from college into the real workforce is a big step and i'm super grateful for my friends who did life with me Tap is broken, drip, 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 drip. Dirty dishes in the sink. Yeah, so I really think the weather was like 30 degrees warmer the last time I filmed the video because it's freezing and it was sunnier. Now it's gray and it's rainy. I'm gonna miss the summer. going on everyone welcome to my channel my name is Jossie Lynn J but most people just call me Jossie today it's, it's pretty cold outside it's windy it's rainy it's dark mad early like it feels like it's midnight but it's only like 7 something p.m. I really like the sentimental type of content that I can give you all where I'm just literally sitting on an ottoman. I got a box light and we're just having a conversation as if you all are in the same room as me. And I love that. I love the more sentimental style content. It's more laid back, it's more relaxing. It's off script. I just feel like it's more realistic. All right, I might as well just cut to the chase based on the title of this video. Yes. I moved on from my previous company and it had absolutely nothing to do with me not liking the previous company I was at. Um, I actually, I still love that place and everyone at that company is like family to me. But in this video, I don't wanna talk about that company that I was previously at. I wanna talk more so about why I decided to make a transition in my career, especially so early in my career, you could say I've only been working full time for like a year and a half, like actually less than that. But due to my three summer internships at the previous company I was at, I got a lot of experience there and I was able to get an idea of what I like and what I don't like, which is really important, especially when you're younger. I think it's super important to know what you like and know what you don't like. I think it's funny because my grandma was like, I thought you really liked where you were at. And I was like, grandma, I do, I, I did. It's just that I found an opportunity at another amazing company that is a lot bigger where I can focus in on a more specialized version of what I do. You know, that's kind of what I told my grandma, but in more of a technical term, I went from doing full stack development to now I'm doing front end development. And that's like the first part of what, the first reason as to why I wanted to make this decision, along with the type of software development I'm delivering to my end user. So yeah, feels a little weird because I started a new job in like the middle of the year, opposed to starting all my full-time jobs or, you know, internships and full-time job during the summertime with people I know. This time I started in the middle of the year and I started with no one because um, I literally just joined the team a couple of days ago and I was the only one who joined the team at that time. But I'm also, of course, still friends with the people that I worked with at my previous company. They will always be my friends. They will always be my family. I just thought it was a good time for me to explore other opportunities, especially considering the fact that the role that I'm doing now is front-end development. And 
I don't know if I've talked too much about like what part of the stack I enjoy the most, but those who know me would tell you, oh yeah, Jossie loves doing front end development. Um, I want to be that like bridge between the development team and the designers. Like I don't want to be a designer and I don't want to be a back end developer. Um, I want it to be, I want to be a front end developer and now I'm a front end developer. Now I'm a front end developer and it's literally so cool because I'm embedded in a team that is full of designers. Um, there's people who do copywriting, there's people who do photography, there um, are people who do videography, and I'm one of three developers on that team, specifically front-end development. And it's super amazing because there are so many projects that I have the opportunity to work on at this new company. And one of the reason being is because this company that I'm at now is very, very large. And um, there's just more opportunities to do more things when it's a you know, much larger company with much more, cus with, um, more customers and also the type of software that I'm delivering is direct to consumer. So I wanted to be able to pursue a technical track through front end development. And at the company I'm at now, you can literally become like a front end architect, a very senior level front end developer because of the way they distribute the type of programming that their developers do or the way they break up each department depending on what stack you're doing. So of course, if you wanna do um, full stack development or you wanna do back end development, you can. But specifically, I am on a marketing team and I'm working with designers, I'm working with two other developers. And it's been so cool because everything is so much more fast paced in the environment that I'm in, even though I've only been there for a couple days. I have much, I have many more meetings because the team is a lot larger. There's so much to learn. It's so much more fast paced because the things that we're putting out are going into an, a consumer's hand, a direct consumer's hand. So things are just happening so much faster. People are a lot more busier. And this is what I really wanted to do. And I'm gonna be honest, when I was thinking about pursuing opportunities like this, I didn't think that there were gonna be really any in the city that I live in, I honestly thought that my next move was gonna be somewhere else, like in a, in a bigger city, for example. When I saw that there was an opportunity in the city that I live in now, at a really cool company, I was like, whoa, that's dope. Like, I didn't even know that this company had these kind of roles. And when I started researching about the company I'm at now, I saw that they have a ton of creative roles. Also, if I'm being honest, I turned down a number of companies to stay at my previous company because I loved it so much. And I didn't think I was ready to make that leap. And or the companies that offered me, you know, internships or a full-time job wasn't really the move I wanted to make. And I honestly felt like if I didn't make this move, I would regret it. You know, because yes, the software industry has a ton of jobs and um you know, a lot of opportunities. However, it's not as easy as it seems, like not at all. Um, it is, it can be very competitive, especially if you're looking for a niche role. Like I know, I could only imagine how many people applied for the job that I'm doing now. And I just thank God for this opportunity. Of course, I prayed on it to make sure it was the right decision at the right time. I don't like to leap if I don't have to, but I think that um, I leaped right into an amazing situation. The funny thing is, I wanna say I like applied for the job that I'm in now, um, like twice, I'm pretty sure. Either I applied to a similar role or I applied to the same role twice. So that's just an example of it wasn't easy. And as I continue to progress in my career, I didn't want to keep doing things that I didn't want to do when I knew that I would have opportunities to do things that I wanted to do because I want to progress in front end development. So my job title is actually digital front end developer. It actually sounds really cool to say that. But basically, yeah, the, the job title explains what I do. I work on the digital marketing team and I'm a front end developer. My advice to you is if you see an opportunity 
and you think you will have the opportunity to experience that opportunity or experience that career, experience that job, then do it. Life is way too short for you to be worrying about what other people are going to think, what other people are going to say, especially if you're making a move that's best for you or best for you and your family. You don't want to have any regrets. I'm 23 right now, so it actually feels really cool to be able to have, you know, well over a year, really over two years of experience and to be able to move on to a bigger company and experience that. And I'm really excited and I definitely think this is a step of faith, a leap of faith. And I'm, I'm just really excited. Like I even got, I got a 15 inch MacBook Pro. I got um, a 4K monitor, like a 4K Dell monitor, like company I'm at just shows me so much love and I appreciate that so so much and I I'm actually programming with you know technology that I really enjoy using and that's that's a perk as well but um, I digress I just wanted to share with you all my career change and that's really all I got for this video um, if you have any questions of course leave a comment down below if you like this video at all if you like this video at all, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who might benefit from it that's maybe in a similar situation, that's maybe afraid to take a leap of faith. Trust me, it's not as scary when you've already made the leap, I promise. Especially if you really evaluate um, that change you're gonna make in your career. And um, of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you can know as soon as I drop a video. And that's all I got. I'll see you all later on probably next week. Stay blessed as always. Peace. Think it's time to call it quits. The kitchen tap is broken. Drip, 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 drip. Dirty dishes in the sink.